James is a very difficult book of the Bible. And the reason it's difficult is because some people say it's by faith alone that we are saved. And technically that would be true. However, the works that we have, the deeds that we have, the things that we do would be accompanied with the faith that we have is what James is trying to share in this book. Martin Luther was very much against this. He said, nope, it's faith alone, faith alone, faith alone, faith alone. And you know what? Martin Luther once again is right. But there should be a willingness within each one of us that says we want to do something about our faith. We want to care for other people. And why is that so necessary? It's because of the example that Jesus set. If you want to love as Jesus loved, look and see what Jesus did. If you want to serve as Jesus served, look and see what Jesus did. What James is trying to share, and remember, this guy lived with Jesus. He grew up with Jesus. It is so tough to ever promote a sibling, but in the end, he promoted his very own brother later in life in his adult years. And this is what James says. In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. We are not people who just need to know every single word of the Bible. We are not people that need to know the exact way that the books of the Bible go through. We don't need to know every single verse. We don't have to be able to say, okay, this is what this verse says, and this verse says, and this verse says. What we need to do is to have our faith accompanied by the actions in which we live. Why do we need to do that? That's what Jesus did. Our faith is accompanied by action, the action of caring for others just as Christ did on the cross at Calvary.